Good morning, everyone. We are here this morning for team yoga. <clears throat> it is 10 o'clock and our topic this morning is going to be on kindness. So kindness to ourselves first and foremost, filling up our own buckets, making sure that we are looked after. Um, and then kindness to others. And obviously then that is a continual cycle. So when we're kind to others, we feel good. It fills up our bucket again, almost. Um, if anyone's read that book, um, have you filled up your bucket today? Um, it's, it's just a really simple kids book, but it really explains kindness so well. Morning, Natasha. Hi. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it is on kindness this morning and how that really, the more you're kind, the more you feel good. Um, but you have to be kind to yourself as well. So we're going to explore all those different self-care techniques, exploring kindness to ourselves. Morning, Christine. All right. So, um, you know, yoga is all about self-care. It's the journey of the self through the self. Um, and it's just really being able to recognize um, the, the connection between the body, the mind, and the spirit, the soul, um, the joy, the heart that's inside you, um, whatever you want to call that. And, um, you know, it's, it's up to you what you want to call that. But, um, you know, it's that connection between the three of them. And if we are following that, if we're quiet enough to recognize that, then we come from more of a place of um, deep contentment, peace, and joy. If we're rushing around in our lives um, and we're not listening to that, then we might not be following the right path. We might, um, you know, life just might seem a bit there. Um, so it's really, really good to connect with that in yoga. Um, and it really does start with kindness, with love, um, compassion. Um, you know, so we're gonna really explore that today. Okay. So coming down onto your mat, and before we start, we'll just check in. So we'll do a mindful technique by closing your eyes um, when you hear the bowl. And then you can hear maybe your connection is slow. Ah, okay. Um, I think we seem to be okay here. Normally if there's a connection problem, it'll tell me at the top, so okay. So sitting with your spine straight and tall, and then when you hear the singing bowl, then close your eyes, and then when it stops, you open them again. coming down onto your mat. So we will start our um, kindness um, theme today by doing our sun salutation. So this is, just move the mat. There we go. Um, so part of my self-care um, in the morning is doing yoga. So um, the asana side, the stretches. So always moving the body and linking the breath. So we're going to come onto the top of the mat, looking down at our toes, and just see if you can lift your toes as you breathe in. We're going to bring our arms up with our palms facing up. And then breathe out, bring your palms down as you slowly spread your toes and bring your toes down to the mat. Flip your palms, breathe in, lift your toes and bring your palms up. And then flip your palms down, breathe out, ground your feet, bring your hands down. Root your feet down as you breathe in and lift your arms up. Breathing out, bend the knees slightly and fold. Step the left leg all the way back, bring the left knee down. And breathe in, coming all the way up. 
Breathing out, hands either side of your right foot. Lift your left knee off the floor. Step your right foot to meet your left. Nice, strong hand cast Push through the heels, the heels in line with the hips, the shoulders and the crown of the head. Push the floor away. Breathing out, knees come down. Elbows brushing against the ribs and slowly float the body down and tuck the toes. Shoulders away from your ears, shoulder blades squeeze together and open the chest forwards. Breathing out downward facing doggy of the tower and look at your feet. Take a few breaths here, checking in. Step now the left leg all the way forwards. Bring the right knee down and breathe in. Coming up, a big yes to today. And breathing our hands either side and left foot. Step the right foot to meet the left as you fold forwards. Breathing in, coming all the way up. Breathing out and hands come down. Roll the shoulders towards your ears as you breathe in, back behind your ears and slide them down your back. Breathing in, bring your arms up, ground down through your feet, bend your knees and breathe out and fold. Step now the right leg back, right knee comes down and breathe in, coming all the way up. Breathing out, hands come down either side of the left. Step the left foot to meet the right into Plankasana. Breathing out, knees down, elbows back against your ribs. Slowly float down and tuck your toes. Roll your shoulders away from your ears as you open your chest forwards. And then breathing out, down, facing dog. Lift your tailbone, look at your feet. Take a few breaths here. Now step the right leg all the way through. Left knee down as you breathe in, come up. And breathe out, hands either side of the right foot. Left foot meets the right as you fold forwards. Breathe in, come all the way up, lift and open to the world. Breathing out, hands slowly come down. Roll the shoulders towards your ears as you breathe in back behind your ears and slide them down your back. From here, slowly come down to your mat. So, self-care starts from the moment you wake up in the morning. I try and establish all aspects of my body, mind and spirit to be taken care of before I even walk out for work in the morning or school in the morning. So it's really important to wake up in the right way. So doing some yoga asanas, so stretches, some postures in the morning first to come out of that tired um, uh, state, okay? So very often we come out of bed, we feel very tired, we feel quite stiff. So the first thing is to move your body by doing some stretches and some postures. And then we check in. It's really important to check in with yourself every morning. And not just every morning, but also throughout the day. Just a little bit of a check in. So just close your eyes for a moment. Bring your spine straight and tall. Lift through the crown of your head. Now begin to become aware of the body. Become aware of any tension in the body. Maybe your neck might be a bit stiff from where you've been sleeping. Maybe your hips a bit achy. Or maybe you have um, aches in the muscles from doing exercise the day before. Or maybe you just feel really tired and sluggish and you don't want to bring your spine to a nice straight position. Maybe it's hard work today. Now bring your awareness to your thoughts. How are your thoughts today? How are your thoughts towards yourself, towards those around you? And with these observations of the body and the mind, your body and your thoughts, 
Don't judge them. Don't place any opinion or reason behind them. Just observe them. Be the observer. Almost like you're watching someone else. And do this with love and kindness, wherever you are right now. And with the thoughts, notice how they play a part in the way our body feels. Notice if our thoughts are negative, we're probably more likely to feel pain or negativity in the body. And also vice versa, if we're feeling pain in the body, then we might be critical of this in our mind. I shouldn't have done this, I should have done that. Allow those thoughts to just pass in and out like waves. Do not attach yourself to any of these thoughts. Your thoughts are not you. And now open the eyes. To allow ourselves to come into a more balanced place, another method is finger tapping. So just bring your legs out in front of you, okay, and then just make your wrists quite floppy. Begin to tap the top of your head. Close your eyes when you do this and begin to feel the vibrations that the tapping sends in the head. Maybe the forehead, so tapping gently on the forehead. With your eyes closed, feel into these sensations. Notice the thoughts as you slowly tap on the cheeks and underneath your cheekbones, tapping gently onto your jaw, feeling if there's any tension. Now, tapping gently on the back of the neck as you drop your chin to your chest. And try and tap just at the base of the skull here. Tapping on the shoulders and the top of the back, and bring the head back up again and tap gently onto the chest. Notice how this feels, if it brings up any thoughts. Tapping allows that mind-body connection. And it allows a release of negative energy. Now tapping gently on the wrist and the side of the hand. Keep the eyes closed. Again, the other side, the wrist and the side of the hand. Begin to tap from the shoulders all the way down to the fingers on one arm and the other arm. And if you notice any areas of tension in the muscles, Bring the thumb into the muscle where you feel a little bit of pain and just gently press, actually not gently, quite firmly until the pain leaves. Slowly tapping now the tummy, all the way down your thighs. Tapping now all the way down your shins. You might need to bend your knees and tap your feet the tops of your feet and then with your eyes still closed tapping the soles of your feet one foot and then the other foot this instantly begins to release anxiety tapping is a really nice way to release emotions and we can do this actually any point in the day, even if we're with somebody, you can gently tap under the table, your wrist, the side of your hand, without anyone really knowing, and it really helps to soothe. Um, so when we've checked in with ourselves, if we feel a release of maybe anger, so when we've done this, sometimes some feelings may come up. If we have anger in the body or frustration or um, irritation, then we need to release that. Um, and anger has different levels of energy. Normally, most of us are aware when we start to feel a bit irritated, we begin to do things to help ourselves and bring our anger back down again. So anger is a very strong and 
quick emotion, there's lots of energy behind it. We don't want that anger to go right up there, you know, when people get quite hot headed. Um, we don't want to say anything or do anything that we regret. So before we get to that stage, it's about recognizing if we do a check in every morning, that is le less likely to happen. Um, that's why in the morning it's really important to do it. If, for example, we forget or things happen in life and we haven't done our check in, we haven't done that self care in the morning, we find ourselves wanting to explode with anger. Um, then lion's pose is a really good one to release that strong emotion in a safe way for us and others. So coming onto our knees, kneeling down first of all, and then you kneel up onto your knees and then spread your fingers as wide as you can. You open your mouth as wide as you can. This is called lion's breath. So you release the tension in the sides of your jaw by bringing your mouth really open, you stick your tongue out and you breathe all the way from the back of your throat. <sighs> Open your eyes as wide as you can. And you do all that with the out breath. So breathing in, squeeze your fists. Imagine that you're really feeling quite angry about something. And then you breathe out with a <sighs> Breathing in, squeeze the fist. Think of something that's really made you cross. And breathe out <sighs> Release that energy one more time. Breathing in and breathing out. And another way we can release that energy is by wood chopper or um, half breath. So bring the legs wide, toes facing forwards. Bring your hands interlaced together. I'm going to come back here. Interlaced together. Bring your arms over your head with your forefinger pointing up. And really reach up. So really stretch up through the arms as you breathe in. When you breathe out, you want to imagine that you're chopping a piece of wood. You swing your arms all the way in between your legs and then you release again with a Okay, it's going to be quite quick. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out, 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 breathe in, breathe out and then coming up. So that's a nice way to release any anger. Another good way of releasing anger, and again, high, high energy. So high energy might not always be anger, it might be um, excitement when we're hyper, when we're um, overstimulated. So to release that, shaking is a really nice one to release tension. So we're just going to stand up and we're just going to shake our hands first of all. Shake the wrists, keep the wrists, wrists nice and loose. And shake the shoulders. Shaking the arms. Keep them nice and loose. And then come on to one foot, balancing one foot, shake the foot. Keep the leg really floppy and loose. Shake all the tension out of the muscles in the leg. And then do the same with the other side, balancing on one foot, shaking it out. Okay, shake the hips. And then shake the whole body. Keep the knees bouncing and just bounce and shake. When we release that, know that whatever anybody else does or whatever the situation is, know that we can't control everything. So some things in life we can control and all the things we can control are the things that we do to ourselves. So we can control our diet, we can control our health, our um, thoughts, yeah, the way we feel about things, we can control that. But we can't control anything around us. So what other people do or say to us, we can't control that. We can't control um, where we live or the situation around us. We can always control how we react to it all, okay? So we always need to think about ourselves first. Um, if we're feeling overwhelmed, so we've thought about those high energy feelings, um, what about when we're feeling overwhelmed? So if there's too much going on around us, maybe too many lights, um, too many noises, um, too much hustle and bustle, too many 
um, things being demanded of you, and I think this is really common in, um, in you know, your age, so for teenage, it's quite overwhelming time, there's a lot of demands on you. So a really nice thing to do is to get into yourself and completely block out any external just distraction is um, B breath, Brahmi breath. So we bring our hands onto our ears and we completely close off our ears, soften the shoulders away from your ears. And we're gonna breathe in and when we breathe out, we, we close our eyes and we close our ears and then we do a noise of a B or maybe just a hum, whatever makes a nice vibration as we breathe out. Okay, and we do this on the exhale for as long as we can. And then when the exhale has run out, when, we, when our breath has run out, then we stop and we take another breath in. So we're gonna practice that together. Sitting with the spine straight, the shoulders relaxed, the ribs drawn in, take a deep breath in, close the ears and the eyes, Keep your eyes closed for a moment, just really feel into how that's made the body feel. And another way to help yourself when you're feeling overwhelmed is to ground yourself. So coming to our um, feet, so sitting on your feet, sorry, coming into child's pose, balasana. You can bring the hands overhead with the forehead down, or you can bring the hands down by your feet, just allowing yourself to completely ground down into the mat. Allow your shoulders to round, allow your back to open. And bring your breath into your back body. Feel the connection of your forehead and your shins with the earth. Helping you to feel safe and grounded. Allowing yourself some quiet time. And then slowly come up. Another way to help us feel relaxed is candles. So Sarvangasana. Lying down on our backs, bringing our legs up to the sky. Bring our hands either side of our hips. Straightening your legs as much as you can. So you can either stay here with the legs straight, push through the heels. And then from here you can, if you want to, bring your feet over your head and lift your hips off the floor and begin to come into the whole pose. So we want the feet stacked over the hips, stacked over the shoulders. We always support the lower back and we try and encourage the elbows to come together behind you. You're always looking at your feet, so try not to turn your neck to keep your neck safe. So this is an inversion and whenever we're in an inversion where the heart is higher than the head, we are enabling our nervous system to calm. We're tapping into that parasympathetic nervous system. We're turning off the flight or fight. We're allowing ourselves to what we call rest and digest. Slowly to come out of this, bring your feet over your head. It doesn't matter if your toes reach the floor. We're gonna just bring the hands down and slowly roll the spine all the way down and bring your knees into your chest gently rocking from side to side and then rolling up to sitting so if we have experienced any loss of any kind like um, someone leaving you or at the end of a relationship um, this 
can cause um, some tightness in the chest. Sometimes it's in the form of physical pain, but very often emotional pain, a deep ache in the heart. So we need to um, give ourselves even more self-care to heal. And luckily, when we're kind to others, then that releases endorphins in our body and endorphins help to reduce the feeling of pain in our body. So kindness to ourselves and others can heal us from loss. So we're gonna breathe in now, we're coming into sunshine breath, coming onto your knees, take a deep breath in, filling up the lungs and then breathe out, bring your arms wide. Breathing in, and then breathing out. And then one more time, breathing in. And then breathing out. So in yoga, to help with this, helping to open our chest, to relieve this pain in our heart, we do what we call heart openers. And a really nice one to do that's not too intense is the bridge. So I'm going to show you the bridge. We're going to lie down, bring our heels towards our buttocks. We want to bring our middle finger to our heel. We just gently squeeze the shoulder blades together. So just push into the elbows and bring those shoulder blades so that they're flat on the floor. And then from here, press your lower spine down. So all of your spine is down into the mat. Bring your navel in and bring your pubic bone slightly up towards your navel. So it's a little bit of a tilt as the lower back presses down. Yeah. And then from here, lift and tilt the pelvis up as you push through the feet. We're going to stay here for a few breaths. And here we begin to really breathe into this heart space. So you can come up as high or as low as you feel. Keep pushing down into your feet and send your knees towards the top of the mat. You can interlace your fingers underneath your sit bones and draw your knuckles towards the top of the mat. Keep pushing into your feet and lifting your hips even higher. Always looking up towards the sky, keeping your neck safe. Breathing into the chest here, expanding through the chest and really drawing the chest towards the chin as much as you can. Keep pushing into the feet, lifting the hips and breathing into the ribs. Now, if you want to, and it's part of your practice, you might want to come into what we call in yoga, the wheel pose. Now, if you have experience, keep going in your bridge, please, while I'm talking. Um, if you have experienced loss or grief in any way, then come into this with compassion and love. It might be too much, so listen to your body. We're gonna bring our hands either side, or I'm gonna move my hair out of the way. We're gonna bring our hands either side of our ears with our fingertips pointing towards the top of the mat. The elbows are up towards the sky, so try not to let them go out. And we need this arm position before we even start. We want strong arms here and strong feet. So we take a big inhale and pump into the body coming up. From here, we slowly bring the chin in and slowly lower back down to the back of the head not on the top of the head, and then roll the spine down, bringing your knees in towards your chest and gently rocking from side to side. Close your eyes and just really feel into the sensations. How did that feel in the body? So when I say about, when I talk, sorry, about sadness and grief and loss, we have to give ourselves even more self-love and care. So just doing things slowly, bit by bit. 
rolling up to sitting. Bringing your hands to your heart, spreading your fingers, bring your elbows out in line with your shoulders. We're gonna breathe in and open the arm out. Breathe out, bring your hand back to your heart. Breathing in, bring your arm out, the other arm. And then breathing out, bring your heart, hand in. Connecting to your heart, breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. We are, we need to experience happiness and joy and invite this back in. Even when we've experienced sadness or grief, we need to experience happiness and joy without guilt to bring ourselves back into balance. So a really nice way to experience joy is rocking and rolling. So it's rolling on the spine. Make sure you've got something soft under you so don't do it on, this, on the hard floor because it will hurt the spine. So you want a nice soft mat. Bring your knees in. Draw your knees tightly into your chest. Bring your chest down to your chin and make sure you've got enough space behind you and we're going to slowly roll all the way back. You might need to leave, use your feet as a bit of a um, lever as you swing back. Keep rocking and rolling all the way along the whole of the spine. Keep going all the way to the top of the spine and all the way back down. So we're massaging the spine here allowing the spine to be free from any tension and blockages and this allows a nice um, connection of the brain to the rest of the body so the nervous system is working properly and there's lots and lots of um, research about the vagus nerve here so keeping this, this keeping the spinal cord healthy is really important so also, my uncle swears by rolling on your spine every morning. He is um, over 60 and still surfing every day, you know. So, really keeping your spine healthy is important. And it's fun. Why not? We're going to come into downward facing dog. Lift your tailbone to the sky. Roll over your toes. Bring your hips down and lift and open your chest as you breathe in. Breathe out now. Lift your tailbone and roll over your toes bring your hips down open your chest breathe in breathing out lift your tailbone roll over your toes bring your hips down open your chest and breathe into today have a yes 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 bring your knees down draw your tailbone down and bring your forehead to the mat so allow yourself to experience joy. If we're kind to others, then we have more energy. Now, anxiety and joy are the opposite emotions and can't be experienced together. So being kind to yourself and others increases its serotonin, helping us to move into a place of joy. So coming on to our mat, standing up, and we're gonna take a big step forward, bend that front knee. Coming into warrior pose, the back foot is in line with the back of the mat, the front knee is over the ankle and we're going to bring our arms out wide here. So when we are happier, our immune systems are stronger. If our immune systems are stronger, we're more likely to fight viruses and bacteria. Bring our arms out and then we're going to turn this foot in and come over to the left knee now. So the left knee stacked over the left ankle. The right foot's in line with the back of the mat. And again, the arms are equal. The arms are soft, the shoulders are soft. And our legs are strong. Feel that strength within. And then slowly from here, come down to your mat. Another way that we can look after ourselves or lots of other ways are um, listening to music. So just with our finger and our thumb, gently massage the top of your ear all the way down to your earlobe. And close your eyes, do this really gently. Just 
feeling into the sensations here. And then square breathing. So bring your finger almost like you're drawing a square. You're going to breathe in along the left side and then pause and breathe in again along the top. Pause, breathe out as you go down the right side. Pause and breathe out down the bottom. Pause, breathe in along the left. Pause, breathe in along the top. Pause, breathe out along the right. Pause, breathe out along the right. Pause, keep following your finger. Breathe in along the left. Pause, breathe in along the top. Pause, breathe out along the right. Pause. Breathe out along the bottom, pause. Breathe in along the left, pause. Breathe in along the top, pause. Breathe out along the right, pause. Breathe out along the bottom, pause. Place your hands down, close your eyes and check in. Self massage, one of my favorites. So close your eyes now. And we're going to use our hands to just gently bring your hands from your heels, from your ankles, sorry, all the way up to your knees. Just gently stroking, keep your eyes closed and gentle touch all the way from your knees to your ankles. Kindness is contagious, really slow movements. Now bring your hands from your knees to your hips, all the way along the sides of your legs. Slow movements. If we show others that we practice self-kindness, then they are more likely to go and look after themselves too. Now circling around the tummy, soft circles. Gentle touch. And then from here, we're going to go from the middle of the chest or where the clavicles are and gently all the way to the top and round the shoulders. Gentle movements from the top and the front all the way back around the upper back. Slide the fingers all the way around, gentle fingers from the top and the front to the back. And now gently slide your hand really slowly from your shoulder to your wrist, all the way to your fingers. Keep the eyes closed and then doing the other arm all the way down from the shoulder to the fingertips. From here, gentle face massage, really soft, so don't pull the skin, just slide the hand over the skin. And then from here, bring the fingers from the center of the forehead, really slowly coming out to the side. And then fingers either sides of your temples, really soft circles. And then slowly bring the hands down. So another way to um, be kind to ourselves, to invoke that self-care element is positive affirmation repeating something positive about yourself three times. In the mirror, it's called mirroring, it's really, really super effective. You might feel a little bit silly. Don't, nobody has to know that you do it, it's okay. <clears throat> but it's really powerful. It's probably something that um, I forget to do quite often, but when I do it, it really massively changes my energy. So I really think it's very important and lots and lots of people I know that do it really think it's powerful. So 
you know, you get a mirror, you sit in front of the mirror and you choose something that either you want in your life and you say that you have it already, like kindness, for example. If you feel like you want to be more kind and less angry, you just literally look in the mirror and you say, I am kind. It doesn't mean, it doesn't matter if you feel like you are at the time, you say it in the present tense. So you just repeat, I am kind. And you can choose anything you want, anything you want to manifest in your life. So we're gonna close our eyes now and we're just gonna repeat in our heads. You can do it with your eyes closed, but I think it is quite powerful when you look at yourself in the mirror and do it. So close your eyes, breathe in, and repeating in your head, I am kind. Kind to myself and kind to others. I am kind. I am kind. And then opening the eyes and coming down for your relaxation. Getting yourself comfortable lying down on your back, hands either side of your hips. And as you lie down, just realising that when we are kind to ourselves, it allows us more energy. We're happier, our immune systems are stronger. So you can choose any form of relaxation throughout your day to energize yourself once again. You can choose a guided meditation, which is what we're doing here. I'm talking you through the meditation. You can do a yoga nidra, which is a form of sleep where your body looks like it's asleep, but your mind is still aware and listening. You can have a nice relaxing bath. You can maybe do some, um, just a normal meditation, which is complete and utter silence, which is a little bit harder to do. So choosing a form of relaxation for yourself, especially when your energy is low. And then slowly from here, relax your arms down by your side. Relax your legs, your toes falling out. And allow those waves of relaxation to emanate through your body, pulsating in every cell. These waves that bring about bliss in the body, that bring about a feeling of such deep contentment, are waves of love. They are waves of love that you've given to yourself by giving yourself self-care. And these waves are quite often felt Rahani or Reiki, because they are the highest vibration. They're the highest way of living when we are completely pure and true. Removing all of the negativity, the lower vibrations of life that bring us down. When we give ourselves love and self-care, we are functioning at a higher energy and vibration. Imagine now at your heart's center, right in the center of your chest, a light, a flickering white light. Feel the waves emanating from this light throughout your whole body. Feel this white light expanding. As 
as we feed our soul with kindness and self-care, this light becomes brighter, this energy becomes brighter, until it fills our body. And when it fills our body, we begin to shine. We begin to emanate kindness and love to others. which then allows their lights to shine. And in turn, our lights shine even brighter. Love and compassion feeds and grows. What seed do you want to plant within your soul? If I could plant a tiny seed of love in the garden of your heart, it would be one of pure love. Everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Laura. And hope you have a wonderful day. <laughs> and I will see you all again soon. Thank Bye. you.